Hey, my friends, I'm John, the carnivore teacher, and I'm doing a mini lesson. This is the first one on minerals, minerals in our body, minerals that we should make sure that we're getting to stay healthy. Today, we're going to start with calcium. It's one of those minerals everyone's heard about. The first thing that comes to mind is strong bones, strong teeth, but calcium does so much more. It plays a role in nerve transition, muscle contraction, blood clotting, and even hormone release. The problem is most people have been taught to think they need to drink milk or eat fortified cereal to get enough. Let's set the record straight. On a carnivore way of eating, you can get all the calcium you need without touching plants. Section 1. How much calcium do we need? Most guidelines suggest that adults need around 1,000 milligrams of calcium per day, with higher amounts recommended for women over 50 and men over 70, closer to 1,200 milligrams. But here's the catch. Bioavailability matters. Animal sources of calcium are much better absorbed than plant sources because plants contain oxalates, phytates, that block absorption. So even if spinach or almonds look high in calcium on paper, your body can't actually use much of it. With animal foods, you're getting calcium in its most usable form. Section two, best carnivore sources of calcium. Here's where calcium really comes from in an animal-based diet. Dairy, if tolerated, raw milk, hard cheeses, and full fat yogurt. Parmesan has 330 milligrams per ounce. Cheddar has 200 milligrams per ounce. You can get it in fish with bones, sardines, salmon, canned with bones. Sardines have 325 milligrams of calcium. Canned salmon with bones have 180 milligrams. Bone-in meats and broths. Slow-cooked bone broths release calcium into the liquid, especially when acidified with vinegar. Eggshell powder, homemade or supplement form, about one teaspoon that's all you need, provides 800 to 1,000 milligrams of calcium. Just grind those shells up real fine to a powder. Muscle meat, like steak, while rich in many nutrients, is not a major source of calcium. That's why incorporating some bone-in foods or dairy can help balance things out. Section three, calcium in body chemistry, partners in crime. Calcium doesn't work alone. It has important synergistic relationships in the body. Vitamin D helps absorb calcium from the gut. Without D, much of the calcium you eat just passes through. Vitamin K2 directs the calcium into the right places, bones and teeth, and keeps it out of your arteries and soft tissue. This is critical. Calcium without K2 can actually contribute to calcification where you don't want it. Magnesium balances calcium in muscle contraction and nerve function. Calcium makes muscles contract. Magnesium helps them relax. And phosphorus works with calcium to build strong bones and teeth. Animal foods naturally provide both in a good balance. This is why getting calcium from whole animal foods is so powerful. You're not just getting calcium, you're getting the cofactors that help it work properly. Section four, what happens when calcium is out of balance? Too little calcium can lead to weakened bones, muscle cramps, and neurological issues. Too much calcium, especially if it's from supplements without K2 and magnesium, can raise the risk of kidney stones or calcification in the wrong tissues. Balance is key. The body thrives when calcium is taken in with its natural partners, and carnivore foods provide exactly that. So here's my closing call to action for you. When someone asks, where do you get your calcium if you don't eat plants? <laughs> you can confidently say sardines, salmon with bones, cheese, dairy if tolerated, and bone broths. The calcium is there, and it's in a form your body can actually use. And remember, calcium doesn't act alone. Vitamin D, K2, magnesium, and phosphorus are its teammates in keeping your bones, muscles, and nerves running strong. If you liked this little mini series so far, stay tuned because I will be talking about another mineral in context with other minerals that our body needs and where we get that mineral. Click the thumbs up for this one. 
subscribe to my channel and share this video with someone who needs to hear about calcium and minerals. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.